Ladies and gentlemen, Black Chicken is joining me tonight for a look at the Cromwell B. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series as we go over the tanks that are available for Christmas this year, or for Tanksmas, as they're calling it. Um, the Cromwell B, for me, uh, it has been an okay tank. Uh, I am not great with it, and uh, like I had said earlier, it, it's one of those tanks that... I didn't say it earlier, so hold on. It's one of those tanks that, um, if you have familiarity with it, you will do well with it. So if you already have a Cromwell and you've been playing the Cromwell, this is going to be an easy transition for you in this tank. Um, for me, I'm coming into it as this was the first time I've ever played this tank, and so it was a little bit uh, hard for me to get the curve yet, and I don't have a great win rate with it yet. Uh, it's still a learning process. However, I will say that our clan does a lot of Tier 6 strongholds and some clan wars at Tier 6, and this tank has been very uh, beneficial to me personally as a uh, Tier 6 tank. So... Uh, so it's uh, one of those one of those things that it's a good option, even for me that's not familiar with it. It works well with the clan wars type setup because it's mobile, it's flexible. You can get back if you need to help your teammates, and it just it's a quick response tank. So that's a good thing. Um, some of the strengths, obviously, it's fast. Uh, it has the ability to do, and as 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 um, you'll see in the battles that we have coming up here, uh, it does circle of death well. It does the pop out and hide really fast and get a shot off well. Um, it has pretty decent penetration on the gun. I'd say it's average for the tier. Uh, I was kind of going through it with BC a little bit earlier, and it seems like the average gun penetration at tier 6 is about 140 to 150 throughout all the different tanks, with the Americans being the lowest in the 120s and the Skoda T40. <laughs> all right, so... Um, one of the things that this tank is going to come with, and, and BC and I were talking about uh, bundle values... Uh, this tank is how, how how much cheaper was it than the Berlin one? Do you remember, like the original package? Oh, hang on. I had my mic muted. That's okay. But yeah, the Berlin original Berlin Quartet when it was when they were finally selling them all at the very end. The Cromwell is, yep, thirty six dollars. It has three k more gold, but you're paying less overall. Okay, cool. So it's it's a better deal than it was originally, and comes with a decent amount of gold was it what did i say 1750 on the gold i think yeah 1750 gold and the other thing that i wanted to mention was that the crew comes with brothers in arms now that's good and bad if you're like me and you don't have the cromwell purchased yet uh you'll be able to take this crew and move them over into that tank and then retrain them for that tank and then you can bump them back and forth between the cromwell and the cromwell b uh, if you're not like me and you've been already playing the Cromwell a lot and you have a real good crew, it's going to kind of stink because you're really not going to be. You could run them in this tank, but then what are you going to do with the with the new crew that has brothers in arms? So it kind of presents a little bit of dilemma for for you if you've already been in this tank before and you're coming into this as a new tank. So as a trainer, it, it'll work just fine, but what are you going to do with the crew? <laughs> so you're not going to get any money for them if you dump them. You paid for them, so it kind of presents a little bit of a dilemma there. But uh, for me, it's a perfect situation because now that I've unlocked the Cromwell, I can pop these guys into that tank and run between the two tanks. So, uh, all right. So, real quick, we're going to go over the stats. At 750 hit points, it's on par with the other medium tanks in its tier. Um, not a whole lot of armor there. 63 on the front, though. I think that's more than. Nah, it's the same. It's about the same as the other ones on its tier. It's a little bit low. But uh, And then the turret armor has 76 on the front, flat-fronted turret, so you got to be careful because people can pen through it. Uh, really, the trick with this tank is to stay in motion and to stay in cover. It's a very small tank, almost, I would say, scout-sized and scout speed. So even though it's a medium tank, it plays a little bit like a scout. Um, in those emergency clutch situations, oftentimes I wish it would go a little faster. <laughs> but it's actually a very quick-moving tank uh, for a medium tank. So... Um, once again, about 144 for the damage for the hull. Um, I'm sorry for the hull penetration, and it does uh, an average um, damage of 135. But you fire what, like every two seconds, BC, two or three second reload. I think he's got his mic muked. Mic muke. Uh, more like three to four seconds. Three to four second high, reload. So like uh, low. low, low four, low th or high threes, low fours. <laughs> So it's a pretty quick reload, uh, so you are going to be able to do those those quick maneuvers like the run around and shoot and stuff like that, so circle of death. So let's go ahead and take this guy out for a run. We're going to have some fun. Let's go. Like BC said, I shouldn't be encouraging people to try to do circle of death because <laughs> you only do it like in dire situations or if, if it's like 
end of the battle and you have like 10 friendlies left and one enemy left and you can get in there and have some fun but uh it is kind of a dangerous maneuver this tank does do it well though <laughs> so all right let's go ahead and hop into battle then if i don't ready up it just goes in right if you don't ready up what do you mean like if i don't ready up myself it just goes into battle with me right no because okay the leader has to initiate into battle okay other teammates cannot. but i don't have to ready up to do that i can just click the battle yeah Okay. Oh, that's oh, cause, okay. Okay, yeah, so you weren't ready. ready. Okay, because when I went we to just, look, you were ready. <laughs> that's just a formality to tell your other people that I want to play this tank. I want to play this tank. All right, so I will. I'm gonna follow you on this one. Tier eight. They have more heavies than we do. Uh, Always. Let's go. <laughs> I gotta go north. Okay. The mountain. Now, did you paint your crown well? Did. I was thinking of not to because its color scheme was so different, but it, it still looks good. Yeah, I got yelled at for painting mine. I, I kind of picked an extroverted paint scheme. <laughs> oh, the blue in the desert? <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, apparently that blue is not supposed to be blue. Oh, really? It's supposed to be gray. Oh, I kind of like the blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the way they did it so that you can still see the emblems and stuff. If I go up this way, I'm I'm not familiar with this place at all. Is this okay to go up this side? Uh, yeah, just make sure you're behind a hill. Okay, so stay. As long as you can, the point of this position is to look into that valley on the left and the hill across the way. Okay. Before they added that ditch across the way, this spot used to be super strong. Not so much anymore. Right, because they can come up there too. But I don't think anybody's coming up. Yeah, I'm going to spot the valley see if anyone's over here. I'm Looks being like silly. No. Oh, you're, you, as long as you make it to the other side, you're pretty much safe. You got shots on that T-69 over there? Yeah, but I missed. I'm lagging. Hang on. Shoot. He's looking at he's looking at me, I think. Yeah, he is. <laughs> the SDA wants up there. Eh, go ahead, buddy. So is are the is the Japanese blue supposed to be gray also? No. From I think that's I don't know how I don't know about that color scheme, but from what I've seen in one of the chieftain's videos, the blue was just a mistake by one of the war museums. And so everyone just thought that, well, it's blue. And so they painted it blue. <laughs> What if I sneak up here? This is dangerous, isn't it? There was a... Yeah, I was looking for that bulldog. Where is he? That, that super Persian can see us, though. He's right behind us. Yeah, he's tucked in. He's tucked in right oh, there. He's also on the slope. Yep, he's way back there. Yep, we're, we can't advance now. What? We damaged them. You've shot where you are? Yeah, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> that's yep. That's okay. Here's our chance. Let's rush this uh, bulldog. Okay. That T34 is moving, and the super person is gone. Yes, no no, of course. We the crag. <laughs> uh oh. Pair and pull back. Should I pull? Okay, hang on. Four, five. There we go. Great. Super Pershing is coming up. This T69 is holding our entire team up. This is not good. Because of across the way. Oh wait, our heavy tanks pushed that way. Right? Yeah, let's get this guy. What are we? What are we doing? Okay. Oh. Okay, this, never mind, the C-34 is blocking the way. We can't, uh, leave now. Okay. What about oh, the super- weird. What about the super Pershing? Keep him spotted? I'll try to look for him, but we can't fight him either. Yeah, the super Pershing's coming up here. He's up, he's oh, almost he up here. Yeah, just jump down. Okay, I'm coming. He's gonna be behind us in a Let's minute. Let's follow this Wheezy. You see him? Yep. <laughs> Wheezy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Super Persian is going to be on your right. We're in dangerous territory now. What do you think? Should we go around the left here and this? Nope, T thirty two is down there. Yeah. Oh brother. We don't, have, we don't have much ways of going here. We're pretty much dependent on what our T rate friends do. Oh, okay. 
Super Persian is going to be behind us in a second here. Yep. Once this STA engages this T32, we should go in. If he ever does. Okay. Super Pershing's coming. He's he's visible now. Yeah. I'm gonna stay with the WZ here. Ooh, he shot me. Alright, I'm I gotta go because the Super Pershing's getting me. Okay. Ooh, yeah, help me with this T32. Yep. Here's where our circle of death can come in. I'm going over. Come on, guys, lock it up, lock it I up. I can't even pen him. Target acquired. Enemy is hit. Penny pressure. All right, a T-69's coming. Bounce. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get one on me. Oh. Boy, everyone get out. <laughs> well. And hopefully this T-69 can finish the job. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, is he reloading? <laughs> it looks like it. Why did he go? What's he doing? <laughs> Why did he even go in there? <laughs> All right, that was not the best play. No. <laughs> oh well. We didn't have that. Well, at least we won. Yeah. We that stalled was... them long enough so they didn't go back and defend. Right. <laughs> it wasn't too bad either. I mean, <laughs> we did pretty good considering. <laughs> I think we did some good spotting. Hopefully. Yeah. Too bad that rock. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw get, that. If I hadn't got stuck, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> That's that situation I'm talking about where you wish it would go just a little faster. <laughs> but he was going to kill me either way, so... All right. All right, there we go. So, nice victory. Oh, so man. The details. Holy cow. Ooh. But I only do 63 damage. <laughs> a lot of bounces. Hey, for once I outscored you. <laughs> yeah. Well, tier, not, tier 8 battle, what do you expect? We were the scouts, basically. <laughs> yep. I think we did pretty well, considering. All right, so let's go ahead and run another one. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get a match where we can I can do stuff. Yeah, not well, be it's subject to the fate of or to the will of my teammates. That's right. Well, it's one of those things I found that it seems like with this tank that does happen a lot too. When you when you do uh, platoons with this, it seems to get a lot of tier eight matches. Now, I think that's pretty much true of any tier six medium, but. This one seems a little bit more brutal than normal, but we'll see. Let's get it. We'll do two more battles, and then I do have to run. i got to get to work. <laughs> All right. Here we go. <laughs> oh, the We're irony. Less of <laughs> Wait, they do or we do? Both do. Oh, yeah. Well, at least it's a little more balanced than the last one. Yeah, well, <laughs> Which way do you want to go? To the right? Yeah. Bummer. Yeah, and that's what I found with this tank. It does seem to see a lot of tier 8 battles. Not by itself. Like, when you're playing by yourself, it doesn't seem to do it as much. But every time I've done platoons that I can think of, we've almost always been in top tier territory. So, or bottom tier territory, I guess. Top tier for the 8s. The reload time on my tank is 3.29 seconds. All right, so it is on the bottom half of three seconds, so that's really good. Yep, I think I pushed too far. I'm going to go back. All right. Oh, almost had the MT-25. I'll put a hole in this bathtub. <laughs> There he goes. T20. Oops, sorry, BC. <laughs> Little collision. I would say the gun gun depression is pretty average on this tank. It's not horrible. Should we be pushing up or no? Uh, we need... Well, that suit pushing certainly. We need vision, so I guess I'll go. I'll go with you. Mediums need to stick together. Sure 
do. Just be careful of that ridge back there. That are there they are. Get to get to ground. I'm getting. Wow. Oh good, I lit him up. Got a nice hit on that. Oh, what hit that suit? Was that artillery coming down? Was that T-34-3. Oh, did he get hit by a lot of health? Probably artillery. 300 something. <laughs> He's backing out. He just ran into me. By the way, I played my first battle yesterday in the T-34-3. Oh yeah? Yep, top score, 90,000 credits earned. Really good. Yeah, it was <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> I was no, like, it's a totally not good tank. <laughs> It's got a rocket. The, the oh, oh, it's stinking. <laughs> it's got a pretty hard turret. <laughs> it gets ammo racked all the time. Oh, does it? Oh man, he's, they see me. Yeah, me too. That RH got a nice hit on me. Looks like he got a nicer. No, he got a nicer hit on me. <laughs> That's his T28. What is this guy doing? Can we get hits on him? Well, if the super person really wants to get in there. Looks like the RH is pushing a little bit. Oh, no, he's just moving across. Okay. Oh, he got hit. Yay. Super Pershing is getting his noggin knocked off. Is he getting damaged? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's okay. almost gone. T-34-3 is just under that hill. Oh, yeah. Alright, we can win this. T-28 prototype moving up behind us. Yep, I see him. We definitely can take it from him. <laughs> just gotta be a deterrent now. Keeping busy. These guys on the other side will push. This is a really long game. I'm it's up to it's up to our uh, west side now. At least they're, they're it looks like they're winning. He's pushing up. Uh oh, T20 uh -oh. just. Oh, all right, our front line's collapsing. What do we got? Oh, Jagpin. We got to defend against this T20. Okay, he's backing up. E25 is coming around too. Oh, this is not good. Where'd that T25 go? Watch out. What do we do? Are we falling back? OBC, let's sorry. See, let's see what this prototype does, and if he shoots at anyone besides us, then we can get him, because his side armor is paper thin, and his turret. Artillery's firing at me. Oh, oh no. sorry. Couldn't, I couldn't go anywhere. That Jag Tiger had me blocked out. Oh, you got like four seconds to get him. Dang nope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, what are you going to do? We should have pushed him. <laughs> yeah. One time. Of course, then again, look at that back there, though. The E25 is back there now, too. I think we've lost this one. Oh, well. <laughs> time to get aggressive, BC. You and me. <laughs> Play it like you always do. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't win. No, that's true. <laughs> so true. I think that was probably the worst battle I've had in this tank. <laughs> yep, it's not great. No. So pretty much, I don't really play this in pubs because it's kind of a, you can just might as well just play the Cromwell. Now, do you think one that of the reasons people, you would get this is if you like to play any sort of clan or team or tournament play? There you go. And just you like I said, have a Cromwell and it locks out even another Cromwell. There you go. Okay. Now, with the regular Cromwell, does the regular Cromwell do you feel like it's a better tank or you They're feel identical? Like, okay, they really uh, are identical. The Cromwell B was made to be identical to the Cromwell. Okay. All right. This so is pretty much a pay to win. Okay. <laughs> you could say. Or lose in our case. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do this. One more battle, and then I got to run. <laughs> Alrighty. I hope we get a tier six game. <laughs> Probably won't. Hey, for this isn't that great either. Wow, they have a lot of heavies. Oh, yeah. Oni. Can't even penetrate that thing. 
<laughs> Maybe from the back. Only, no, the sides. Japanese heavy tank weaknesses are the sides. Sides, okay. Yeah, it's like the Excelsior. Their sides are paper thin. And you can get, is it the only the one that you can get up right next to when he can't hit you? Or is that, so. up, is that up front? I don't know. I don't really get close to them. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to. <laughs> if you're in that situation. <laughs> Suck up and pray. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, what are we doing? Are we doing mid? I'm going middle. Okay. I'm taking I'm taking this hill. You can sit just below behind these bushes on my left. Or peek around this boulder and you can see across the lake. You talking about down there by the rock? Uh no, don't go down there. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think you can get back out of there. I've yeah. been down there before. Yeah, right there. Should we be firing or no? That's a Cromwell. No, those are the guys we want to hit. That Oni. Enemy is hit. Oh, they see me. Yeah, get down. Oh, you're the only one who shot. Oh no, no, there we go. Uh oh. Were you getting hit all the time? Holy crap! What hey, was man. hitting you? All those guys. <laughs> oh, I heard. Oh, I fell down. Uh oh. But that is that was some key intel I gathered at least. Yeah, that that's trouble. Okay. Here, get like face where I'm facing and back out. Okay. Really gotta play with world of board gaming physics right now. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm uh, sh shall yep, shallow out. Okay. There we go. That works in real life. So are we getting out of here or are we staying? Uh they probably went to the city. You said that works in real life. <laughs> Did you see that? That was unreal. He just shot, shimmied up the hill backwards. <laughs> it's a KV-1. I'm not gonna fire. I'm gonna learn my lesson. Enemy is hit. Enemy armor is hit. That one bounce. Enemy is hit. Oh. Hmm. We're getting clobbed in the city. Yep. Uh, this Oni is on the front of the chapel. If he drives forward, you can see him. Okay, I'm gonna Probably sit. Probably won't, though. I'm gonna go for one more spot on this hill. That's what I can see. Their Cromwell is ripping our KV-1S apart. I hate to pull up more. But I think I have to. Jeez. They have a lot of guys left. T-150 pulling in front. Can't hit Yeah, Black Prince now. Just didn't get aimed in time. Oh no, he's still there. Who gotcha? The 5916. Okay. Oh, great. Uh, yeah. You gotta pull back behind this boulder because when you shoot, he'll see you. Okay. What should I be doing, do you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you, you can't really go into. Yeah, you have to go to the city. It's now or never now. Okay. You don't have enough people to man the defenses. So move to the city? Don't just fight them, just make sure you just decap them. Oh! oh someone sees you. 59 oh, wow. 16. Oh, come on, get down! He's on, he's on a revenge. Oh, there he is. How did, I guess the IS saw him. Come on, pull up. Oh, shoot. A44, E25. You know where that M44 is? Oh wait, there's people coming from the back. Yeah, yeah, defend against these guys first. A44. He's gonna wait. run away. Yeah, wait for him to turn around. If at all. <laughs> really? No, he's gonna oh, go I for guess. the base. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We're... We can't, yeah, we can't decap now. Yeah, just 
play this corner out. We damaged them. It's gonna tear me up. Enemy is hit. Permission to engage. Penetration. Enemy armor is damaged. Got some good hits in. We have no one left in the city though, so. Oh no. Target we can shoot that to the United 16. Yeah. Great. Oh man. Alright. Oh well, just survive. Right. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> At least you lived. Would you say we camp that one? <laughs> sure did. That's how you play at Lakeville. If you're in a medium, you camp that mid ridge. Yeah. Hey, you did good. Yeah, you got a lot of spotting. Look at that. Oh well. <laughs> and that's. Oh, you know. It, it really hurts when someone doesn't do that, and they all go into the city without you knowing, and you lose. Right. <laughs> I mean, there's not much you can do in this. I, I, I don't know. It's hard to know what to do, but it's like, if your heavies don't aren't able to hold the city up, and they had a lot more heavies than we did, you know, that's a that's a tough one because that that map, especially with that that checkpoint being in the middle of the city like that, you really have to have the same amount of heavies for you to be able to have an even chance of taking the city. Because if you have a bunch of mediums and they got a bunch of heavies. They're gonna go in there and they're gonna camp it out and and you know tear you up. So funny thing about Lakeville is that I learned from one of my previous clan mates that there's a if you if you get enough people to push Valley and you win the Valley, you pretty much won the game. Because, I've seen that before because everyone since everyone hates Valley, no one ever does it, so you never see it played. Right. <laughs> it takes so long to get through there, though. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. But if you do get through it, you pretty much won the game. Right. <laughs> Uh, well, that was fun. I, I honestly, this has been my experience in pub matches with this tank. I just, it's partly yeah. me. I mean, I've seen people do like really well with this in tank. In a controlled environment, this thing's one of the best tier sixes. Yeah. But in pubs, not so much. Yeah, it really well, doesn't. Still, it is one of the best, but in a, in a tier six mediums really can't do anything. Yeah, I feel like it gets into situations a lot where it just, you can't make the difference. I feel like. I don't. I don't know why, but my like the T thirty four eighty five and the Type fifty eight both for me. I I feel like I can do more flexing in those tanks, and make situations that are. But even then, if you're in a tier eight battle, you're kind of skunked. Pretty much can't do anything. Yeah. Unless you're really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> and find a, and find the tier sixes before you find the tier eights. Yeah, true. And we've seen it before. You know, <laughs> we've seen those kind of battles happen. I, what was the one where the guy had the crown well and he killed the? I don't know if you saw on my channel. I think it was Nads. That killed that. Uh, he killed an IS three, and I think he killed one other tier eight heavy tank by himself. Yeah, if you can, like, yeah, you can totally do it. It's, <laughs> it's not unheard of, but right. it's just luck. Super hard. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but I like this tank. It's not that I don't like it. I just it's 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 hard. These mediums are hard on tier six. I it, I don't know. Also, because it has no downsides, because it's just a Cromwell, it probably has the highest value. All the Berlin quartets. Uh, that being said, okay. probably applies the same way because they're pretty much carbon copies of their other tanks. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And this one is the one that's like the most carbon copy ish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hang on. I want to see if I can find my service record with this tank. It's not going to be good, and it's not going to be big either because I don't, I don't play it too often. Let's see. Cromwell. Cromwell B. I have thirty battles with a forty-three percent win rate. I only have 26 battles, so I played less than you. <laughs> What's your win rate, though? Like 80? 65. <laughs> 699 experience per battle is not that bad, I have less than bad that, though. though. Probably oh. because I play in, turn, uh, in Clan Wars. I'm not sure if that counts for XP. I don't think it does. Yeah, that's probably why. I have all my games in that, so that's why it never accumulates my statistics on this. Okay, so you found pretty much the same thing. If you are gonna, if you want this tank and you're interested in it, it's really... If you want a competitive game, this is the one. Yeah, sp if you want a competitive tank. Yeah, especially for the Clan War stuff. So, All right, BC. Well, have a good night. And uh, everybody else, thank you for subscribing. Uh, be sure to give us thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, be sure to subscribe. Have a great night. We'll see you.